what's up everybody OCD farming here today and welcome back to Big Flats Texas for a fresh map Turski yeah another one I know I said I wasn't gonna do another one but this one is a lot better don't worry uh, so yeah this is by TK farms 114.79 megabytes to download and it's for all platforms I am on PS5 so yeah uh, anyways uh, we will uh, get right to it I will show you the land that we own um, a bit less, I think, than last time. I think, yeah, we owned this field last time, and I think maybe these two fields, or one of these fields or something. Um, but yeah, we just owned this field, these two fields, this big field, and then these three fields here. Uh, we have two farms, same as usual. Um, we do have all of our animals, I believe, over here, except for the horses. The only thing that's down at the main farm is the horses, so yeah. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of storage, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll we'll get right to it. And um, yeah, I did a bit uh, better landscaping this time, I will say. Uh, so yeah, we'll start off. We're at the uh, main farm here. Um, so yeah, we got a small garage shed here. And in it, we got this freaking lizard AGR 1500. I will say this thing um, doesn't stop very quick um, and it accelerates very quick <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm waiting for an update because I kind of like this this truck I like the decals with it. it's it got like a crap load of uh, decals and different brands and whatnot but yeah that's that um, and that's mainly just gonna be for our long care tipper um, but yeah, we got our TLX 1982 uh, with just the normal dualies and the gooseneck. And we got this bad boy, our modern house. Yeah, buddy, like the one in Elma, Missouri that we have. And very nice modded house. I forget who did this. And yeah, but it's very nice. I like it. I like it a lot, and that's where we sleep. And we got a back door here. Very nice. See our fields. Very cool. like that a lot. A lot of doors. <laughs> but yeah, that is our house. Uh, we also got the uh, Banshee 350 ATV with the American decals. Just kind of like out front. Um, we got the American Garden Shed with our Husqvarna riding lawnmower. We got another small garage shed here with Two more TLX 1982s. This one's got the fire truck and the water distribution. And this one's got our fuel deposit. Uh, close. Okay. That's that. Uh, we got a metal garage shed or whatever this is called. Um, and we got the ABI tanker to the side. And that is going to be for the UTV. We got the case UTV and we got a green body trailer. And we got our combine in here. Yeah, buddy. No weird spot for it, but it's in here. And that's everything in there. Uh, we got the cool American four door garage thing, whatever it's called. And we got our TLX Phoenixes, uh, the X2s. This one will auto load bales. This one's our unrealistic tanker, and this one's our unrealistic dumper. We also got the man truck that will transport horses, and that is it. I may do chickens, but I, it's pretty far from the animal dealer. So is this, so is this farm, but it's doable with horses because I only use, I only get like four of them. <laughs> Anyways, um, we got a multi-fruit fill trigger there and the fuel tank that's part of it, the shed. Uh, we got a farm silo bin, or pharma silo bin. I think this holds 300,000 liters and it's just going to hold oats for the horses. And this is our small horse pasture. We do not have any horses at the moment. I do not see them. So yeah, multi-fruit fill trigger, and then we'll come back out back here. Uh, we got the big American water tower there. We got a workshop bench behind our metal garage. We got another small garage shed here. 
with another TLX 1982 with an auto load pallet uh, thing. I think it only does 7,000 liters. Uh, and we have the uh, Rumbler thing. Uh, this only will hold. Actually, does this one have. I think this one might have the ramps. Yes, it does. Okay, so yeah, this is our ramped one. So yeah, that's that. Uh, and then we got the uh, drive through shed with the office or whatever it's called. Um, and we have our JCB backhoe. We got a 7250 case with uh, narrow dualies in the back and normal narrows in the front with a thousand kilogram weight. Uh, and then we got two 400 series magnums, special editions. Um, this one's got floaties and a built in weight, and this one's got uh, narrow dualies at the front, and or I think they're narrows, and then wide tracks in the back. Uh, we got the SP 10 meter plow that will go 40k. We got the Massey fertilizer spreader, and we got the Pottinger weeder. And that's it's everything in there. And I like how this shed is. I can access it from the back of my house if I wanted to. Yeah, very cool. I made a little dirt road. I'll show you that when I give you a flyover. But yeah, there's the American Water Tower again. Uh, we'll come down here. We got our 20 million liter grain quid silo. We got a pressure washer, karcher station thing. Uh, we got the fuel pump with realistic pump, so you had to turn it on like I just did right there. Uh, we got a Big Flats Texas modded liquid fertilizer tank and the Big Flats Texas uh, modded uh, fertilizer tank. It's, uh, solid fertilizer. Uh, we got the Minette Farms workshop. And in it we got the Case Titan 4540. And this is going to be just for lime. Uh, we got the 250 uh, Patriot Sprayer. Uh, we got the Massey Telehandler here. It's a modded one. And we got a Brussels and Laid bucket. I think it holds like 2,600 liters or something like that. 3,000 maybe. I don't know. Uh, and then we got Bale Spike. And we got the uh, Triple Bagger. That we can hook up to three bags. Yeah. That's that. Uh, then we got a Draper header and a Corn header for our Colossus. And our Colossus goes 17k, uh, our Draper header goes 17k, but I may switch it up just to get uh, some harvest done, but probably not, it uh, will probably be good. Um, and then the corn header I think also goes 17k, but we'll see. Uh, we got a TLX Phoenix uh, with the heavy hold and sleeper, and uh, we got the uh, agricultural trailer. Or plank or trailer or whatever it's called but yeah that is that and that's everything in there uh, then we'll come up back here we got a buying station for liquids right here and two big flats modded or big flats Texas modded sheds Blah. Uh, we got a double field roller there we got our long care gooseneck that will hook up to our AGR truck or whatever the hell it was uh, we got our normal gooseneck. We got the Colossus root cart that will hold the unrealistic capacity, I believe. We got the modded Kinsey mock till uh, disc hero, and it will also mulch. Uh, we got the Kinsey multi fruit planter. This will do basically everything. And we got the stone picker trailer that will hold 75,000 liters, I think. And go like 20k or 25k or something like that. But yeah, that and a freaking plane out there. But yeah, that's uh, everything to show you, I think, here. So I'll give you a little flyover doodle. Looking very nice. It's a lot more even. There's no bumps right here. It's nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, just like a baby's bum.
But yeah, it's looking really nice. Nice and spaced out. There's not too much over here. I got it kind of nice and nice and neat. And this road right here looks dope. Come out back of our house. Get to the main, get to the road if we want from here. Or just come out this way. Yeah, pretty cool. I like how I did that. Yeah, that is uh, the main farm. Uh, that's everything to show you there. Now we'll head over to the uh, secondary farm, or the animal farm, we'll call it, because most of our animals are here. Um, and we got another modern house here, so five hundred thousand dollars and just in houses. So that can, I'll just about show you how much money I spent. Uh, probably around eight, nine mil, maybe even closer to ten. Uh, we got about five hundred sixty-three thousand right now in the bank. So. Anyways, we got another uh, pharma silo. This will hold 300,000 liters, and it's just going to be for wheat for the chickens. Um, we have a honey pellet storage rack and two beehives. We got our large chicken coop that will hold 500 chickens. Uh, we got another uh, Big Flats Texas modded uh, fer solid fertilizer tank. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we got the pigsty with manure. I believe this is by Missy B. I I wish we could just distribute straw the normal way, like with a mixer, but I don't mind getting the baler out or the a bale out and the telehandler out. Um but yeah, we got a multi fruit fill trigger there. Another small garage shed here. And oh god. And in it, we got another 7250 case with widths and weights and a thousand kilogram weight. And we got Sadie the Cleaning Lady that will hold a hundred thousand liters. Uh, we got a grain quid silo there, kind of deal. An American water tower. But yeah. Uh, kind of get all messed up here. Uh, we got a pallets, or storage shed for bales and pallets. We got a buying station for liquids there. Another Karcher pressure washing station. Another workshop bench. Another metal garage shed. Uh, and then this one we got our skid steer with our bucket and pallet fork. And to the side we got the RTO trailer. Another small garage shed here with a uh, rumbler truck van things. And uh, this one's got the muck spreader that will hold 10 million liters. And this one's got the loading wagon that will hold 10 million liters. Yeah. And we got another realistic pump fuel tank thing. That's that. Do -do -do -do. Uh, we got a large greenhouse here, space game. We got a seed and fertilizer uh, production factory. Uh, we got uh, two, or no, this is a fermenting silo, a large one. And this is a grass drying uh, silo, a large one as well. So yeah, we can make hay without tending it. Uh, now we got here is a lime production right there. Crusher or whatever it's called. And we got another Big Flats Texas modded shed with our bale wrapper, our Massey Pro Baler, I think it's called, or Gen 2 Baler. Uh, I think this is the 20 meter wind rower, uh, the trailed wind rower, case of tire. And we got a Pottinger tether. I really wish they would make a modded tether that's like 20 meters and like goes like at least 18, 20k, that'd be nice. Uh, any hooser, we got a manure factory here. And yeah, we can make straw out of manure with this bad boy. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, we got a enclosed, American enclosed cow pasture. We actually have two of them. Uh, they're side by side and this one holds 200 so we can hold 400 cows so yeah we don't have the big long one this time but that's okay I like these ones 
come back around here. Do -do -do -do. And we got the American Sheep Barn here, the old 300 sheep. And there's the other cow pasture. And we have a manure heap. This will hold 10 million liters of manure. So yeah, and that will be from what we produce there. All right, so yeah, that is everything to show you here. I'll give you a flyover. And again, very smooth over here. The roads are very nice. We got one entrance here. I was gonna make one here, but it's a little bumpy, like around, just around here. So I just kind of sectioned it off because this is where we're gonna put the bales for the pigs anyways, the straw bales. So yeah, that's gonna be good right there. And then we got another little road here, very smooth, nice and flat. Just the way mama likes it. All right. Yeah, it's looking good over here too. It's a little more compact over here, but it's still very open. Everything is easily accessible. Like all this stuff is like it's not like a big stone picker trailer. I don't need to pull up all the way to here. I just pull up to like here and then back it in. So it'll be decent. I like it. Everything we need. Very nice. And all the animals are right here, so pretty much except for the horses, but yeah. But yeah, that is uh, going to do it. So let me know what you guys think of this uh, final edition of Big Flats Texas, because freaking Farming Simulator 25 is coming out soon, and I will definitely begin that when it comes out. Uh, but yeah, so next time here, we'll uh, get to harvesting. We actually have a bit more to harvest this time. Uh, we got three fields to harvest, and uh, two canolas and one wheat. Um, this field is almost ready to go, and it is corn. And it's fully fertilized, good to go. Uh, this field is almost ready to go, more ready to go than the corn, actually. It's heavily weeded, and I believe it's sorghum yeah sorghum and then we got oots oh that's never mind that's uh harvested and it needs lime good no stone picking in that field this time that's good all right and then um i think we have two fields of grass yeah we do one of them is ready to go so we can mow this field six here and this other one is growing both fully fertilized too that's good and yeah so we got a bit of harvesting to do and i mean if we do it quick enough we might even be able to take this harvesting contract here and get some get some good walking around money but yeah that's uh, pretty much going to do it for today though so uh uh, tune in next episode where we will be back here for episode uh, and then truck driver finally for episodes one and two we'll see how that is and snow runner for episode 10 dredge creek alaska for a fresh map tour in episode one and then train sim world four for episodes five and six so till then ocd farming signing out peace out